welcome everyone in this video we will be learning how suspend function works in kotlin and we are going to see the internal implementation and working of it and uh, i have already written an article on it so if you want to learn about that you can get the link from the description and for the prerequisite of this video you should be familiar with what is a coroutine and when and in what scenarios you can use it so if you want to learn about that you can check out my recent videos and if you want to learn about the internal implementation of suspend functions then this video is for you so let's get started so what is suspension in one line we can say suspension means we can stop something in between or we can pause something so let's take some example here suppose at this point you are starting a video game and after some time you just reached a checkpoint inside of your video game so what you can do is you can save the current state of your video game and then what you can do you can close your video game and then you can continue with other tasks suppose you have to watch some videos or you have to do some other tasks then you can do those but after all these tasks are completed then what you can do you can again go back to your video game and just start playing from your recent checkpoint so you can just resume your play and that is it you can just see this is the best example you can consider for your coroutine so a coroutine is running that means there is a suspendable computation that is running and you can pause this in between you can save the state and uh, once all these things are done then you can continue and while it is suspended then you can also do other tasks and in kotlin language if you have to do such things so if you have to run a coroutine then that should be inside of a suspend function so suppose this is our suspend function and uh, it is also having some other suspendable code inside of it so so first we will execute this line then we will execute this line and uh, suppose this is a api call so this task can uh, take some time and once we are calling this so after this call we have to wait and uh, then we can do another task so suppose this is our api call and once we call this function so it will take some time then we have to suspend this and uh, then we will do another task and once our request is done so we will get some response and then we will continue the execution so the question here is how we will pause after this function call and then how we will resume after this line because once we get the response from our api then we do not have to perform these two lines again we have to continue from this third line and uh, then continue further so before understanding this let me take a simpler example so print before and after here we will do some task time consuming operation and after that we will print after so first print this then we will perform some time consuming task that should be a suspend function so for that we have to also make our main function a suspend after this suspend function after time consuming task is over then we have to call after so what is this time consuming operation suppose in your game at this point you are reaching a checkpoint and now you have to save it that means you have to now suspend so for that we are having this function suspend coroutine and here we can pass a generic type suppose unit so with this line we are suspending this current coroutine so because it is inside of other suspend function so after this line our function will suspend so once we are calling this line our function will suspend and we are not going to print this after so that means at this point we are saving our checkpoint but then how can we resume after the after we are back so let me show that also so you can see we only printed before but no after is called because our function never resumed we just saved at our checkpoint so how can we resume you can see there is this lambda block and it is having a continuation object so if you can read this in this function both resume and resume with exception can be used to obviously resume our this function so what we can do is we are having a continuation object here and then we can call continuation dot resume and here you can see it suppose a parameter that is a value t and here you can see t is unit so that is it first we will call this before then we will execute this so that means we are suspending our function and then we are resuming it without doing anything that means this is immediate resuming internally there is an optimization that will prevent the suspension if the resume is immediate like in this case so we are suspending and then immediately we are resuming so our function will never never suspend you will see now we will print this before and after both so here we are resuming immediately but how can we suspend for some time and then resume and for that you already know the function name that is delay so delay is the function that will suspend this coroutine and internally it will call the same continuation object to resume you can just click and see the internal implementation so if the time mill is, is less than or equal to zero then we will return that means we won't delay and we are using the suspend coroutine and here it is suspend cancelable coroutine that is just another type 
and here we have the same continuation object that is a special type cancelable continuation and here we are doing the exact same thing but we were doing previously resume so that means inside of a suspend function there is a continuation object that uh, will be responsible for uh, resuming our coroutine so this continuation object is the one which will be passed to every single coroutine if you can see this you can go to tools kotlin and kotlin bytecode you can decompile and here you can see in the main function you can see there is this continuation object and after that you can see the familiar thing is this switch case and that is it another thing is there is this continuation implementation class which is also passing this which is also taking this continuation object okay so i will also explain you what is this switch case so that simply means if you are having these suspend functions so internally what will happen this suspend is a function modifier that will help us pass the parameter as a continuation object so for all the suspend function there will be a continuation object notice one more thing the return type is changed to any instead of boolean or unit and why any because these function can also return coroutine suspended so there is a constant name coroutine suspended that can be returned from these function because they are suspendable function so either they can suspend or they can return their result if they are suspending for the moment then they will return temporary result as coroutine suspended and once they are completed then they will return their actual result boolean or unit so now let us understand what is this coroutine suspended and uh, what is the scenario for this resuming the coroutine resuming the suspend function actually so here if you see our function can start from two points how it will start from two points first if you are calling it for the first time so it will start from this line number eight it will it will call this before then it will execute this line and then it will suspend that means internally it will return this coroutine suspended thing that i just showed you so this will be the return type when it is suspending for this delay function and after this 1000 millisecond is completed then what will happen so that time we have to again call this function but this time this will not start from this point this function will not start executing from line 8 but instead it should start executing from this line number 10 because we don't have to repeat these two lines so how can we make this function start from two different points either we can make two different function or you already saw that thing let me show you again if you see the bytecode so here you can see so this is the thing that we can use to resume our function from different points so if we are starting from the beginning then what we will have we will have this label as zero that means the function will start from initial point that means from before so we will have a particular label thing so for every single continuation object we will have a label that will define us where should we resume our function from initially the label value will be zero that means we will start from initial point and uh, here you can see if it is zero then we are using this before and then we are simply printing it and after that after this line is printed then what we are doing before calling any suspend function so what we have to do we have to increase our label pointer here you can see so continuation dot label equal to one that means before calling any suspend function we have to increase our label so we increase our label that means when this function is again called so our label value will be equal to one so we will not execute this line next time and uh, and we will directly call this line don't worry i will also show you the toned down version of this whole thing and uh, it will be very simple and easy to understand so here what is happening we are just increasing the label value and then we are calling our coroutine we are calling our suspend function so after this suspend function it is suspended so it will return coroutine suspended and after we are resuming so now we will know that label value is equal to one so we will go to this line and only print after so here is a toned down or we can say simplified version of this thing what is going on under the hood so suppose this is my function so there will be always a coroutine continuation object because it was a suspend function and it can return unit so initially this continuation dot label value will be zero by default and we'll print before then before calling any delay before calling any suspend function we will always increase the label so label is increased then we will call this delay function so this function is being called here with the continuation object so if this function is called so internally it can do two things either this can return that coroutine is currently suspended or it can resume so if this value is returning us this coroutine suspended that means we have to suspend from here also that means 
we are suspending from this function and we are returning this thing so this function is returned now so that means this function ended but uh, then how we will be calling this line again the continuation object will be calling the resume function and it will be call, calling this function again with the same parameters so it will have the same continuation object but this time the label value will be equal to 1 so label value is equal to 1 then we will go to directly this point we will print after we will return unit and end it and suppose at this point the delay function is not returning us this coroutine suspended return type so if delay is not returning suspended then we will simply move ahead to our next point and label is already 1 so we will print this line and finish but the main point where you might be still confused is how we are calling this function again so here we are returning with this suspended call with this coroutine suspended value so how we are calling this function again that you can find inside the implementation of continuation object let me show you so after so many simplification you can consider the implementation of continuation like this you can also see this thing here so here we are also having this continuation implementation object we are passing this continuation like this so if you see the internal implementation it is uh, pretty difficult to understand but the work is pretty similar here what i am showing you so there is this current result type what is the result type either it is suspended or the actual unit or integer and there is this label which is used to check which part of the function we are currently in and then there is this invoke suspend call which is taking this result value and it is also returning the result with this invoke suspend what we are doing we are again calling this function with the same continuation object so after this point when we are returning something so this function will be called and then we will be calling my function again with the same continuation object you can see the exact same thing here also so we are having the result we are having the label and then we are calling the main function again with this same continuation object and suppose you are having some variables suppose where counter equal to 0 and after this point we have to use counter plus plus suppose here we are printing the counter so here this counter variable is used in two places before this suspend function call that means when the label is 0 and after this suspend function call also when the label is 1 so let me comment this and show you the generated byte code this counter variable will be also stored inside of our continuation object so inside this you can see there is this integer value and here is this counter and we we are saving it here you can see so we are initializing it in our case 0 and in case 1 we are incrementing it Kotlin version of this thing might look something like this. So this is my function. This is uh, con continuation. So the counter will be initialized with continuation dot counter. If it is one, then we are reinitializing it with zero. And uh, if the label is one, then we are simply incrementing it. And and the rest of the things will be similar. We just have to save it before we are calling any suspend. So I hope this thing is also clear. And if you want to see the internal of any continuation implementation, then it will be like this. So here we are having this continuation implementation. So it will be something like this. So we will be having a result. We are having a label and then we are having a counter if there is a counter here. And for our resume with function, we are doing this thing. First, as I show you, we have to call this resume with, with our return type that we have to return from function and then we are trying if this function is returning us for routine suspended then we are returning so this line just returned and after our result value will be changed so we will be calling this function again and now this time the coroutine suspended will not be there there will be an actual result from this from this my function so that will be returned and then and then we will actually call this resume with so i hope now you understand what is this resume with function what is this suspend coroutine that i just showed you here this function so so now let us see our example here we are making any api call so first we are at this point so initially the label is zero so we are at this point and before we are calling any other suspend function so we have to increase our label because because this is a suspend function so our label in the continuation is increased and then we are calling this function and right now it is it is returning coroutine suspended 
so because it is suspended so we are returning from this function and now we are waiting when will be the return type of this function is changed so when this function actually returned us some value so then we will be calling a resume with function and this time we are calling this function again but now you can see the label value is one so we will not start from this point but we will start from this point so this line will be also printed and next function is also suspend so label will be two so the same thing will repeat first it will return coroutine suspended then it will return some result then we will resume this function but with label equal to two so this line will be printed as label is equal to two then this and then it ends and what variables will be stored inside of our continuation this user id will be there this user name will be there and this user object will be also there so these things will be also stored inside of our continuation object and i hope now you understand this thing note the one thing here that uh, this is a suspend function so it will have a continuation object and the same continuation object will be passed to other suspend function also and i just tried my best to show you the toned down version of uh, how these things are internally implemented these things are uh, way complex then i just showed you you can just check out these things here and, and as you might have guessed we are also calling these function again and again so so you think recursion might be there but uh, it is not true for optimization we are using here loops instead of recursion don't worry you don't have to dive deeper into it you just uh, need to know what is this continuation object and uh, what is this suspend coroutine and how it is resuming and i have explained you all these things in this single video so if you understand this i hope you like this video if yes then make sure to subscribe the channel and thank you for watching